So what you got there, Zion? I got a lizard. You got a lizard? Well, he's a pretty little fella, ain't he? Yeah. And uh, how did you get him? I got a the, the kitty cat had, had him in his mouth, didn't he? Yeah. And you saved his, you saved his life. So now you're gonna go let him go, ain't you? So, oh, it's cool. Hold him up there so we can see him. He's a real pretty color. Blues and browns and blacks. Ain't he pretty? All right, let's go, let's go, let's go turn him loose so he can be back with his family, okay? Good job, buddy. Good job. You saved his life. Give me a high five. And there you go, guys. Just like that. My grandson's boy. And he's saved his life. Bless his heart. Alright, guys. What we got today is a prop. TNT plunger. So what we're gonna do, I made these things several years ago. I've got probably 10 more in the, in the storage. But I'm gonna show you how I put these together. Uh, it's a very simple ordeal. I'll give you some measurements on it so you can make your own. Okay guys, these are seven inches wide by 13 and a half tall. And I think they're five and a half inches the other way. So I'm gonna show you, I took one apart, so this is gonna be a short video. So, so what I did is I took one apart and I'm going to show you how, uh, how to, how to just put it together. It's very simple. This one here, the sides are going to be 12 inches. Okay, all of them 12 inches and uh, five and a half inches in uh, width. So we got four of them for the sides, and the bottom is going to be. Five and a half, of course, by seven. And the same way with the top. The top is going to be five and a half by seven. So we'll just go ahead and throw this together real quick. I took it apart just to show you guys how to, to kind of measure it out for you. And, and uh, you can make one of your own. So let's put this in together. So obviously the TNT is going to be the front. Put that sucker like that.
All right, guys. There's the basics. Just stuck together. Uh, it's real simple. And what I did is I had some, I had some metal rod left over. So what I did is I drilled a hole in the board, and I welded a, a big nut on the bottom of it. And th this is stationary. It's not going anywhere. Then I took a washer and I tack welded around here on the top so it'll it'll stay it'll stay put. It's not going to go anywhere. Then I just went <clears throat> out in the woods, found me a stick, and uh, scraped all the bark off of it. I drilled me a hole in it. Uh, now, the, the guys, this is done. Th this was done five, six, seven, maybe even nine years ago when I did this. And at the time, I didn't really have that many tools or anything to work with. I was limited on what I was doing. So I just took some duct tape and wrapped around the top and stuck this handle inside there. And that thing, over the years, has became like a like a solid. So that's one way you can do it. There's all these, these like I said, these are non-functioning. And uh, as as you know, on top on top of these boxes, you have like a, a negative and a positive wire running to the main dot or going to the dynamite that way when you plunge this it shoots that electricity through that there boom so we're going to put just uh, a 13 millimeter bolt in here to just to give it the look i don't have no uh wing nuts here in this garage i do it my other garage but we're just gonna wing it with regular nuts so i'm gonna stick this on there and i'll show you what i'm talking about So there you go guys a simple little prop real easy to make it doesn't take long to make these here's another one it's a little different um, this one actually had what I did is I just welded a washer on the bottom of this that way it don't come all the way out also put me a leather strap on top and use an old belt piece of leather whatever you have laying around also had a door number number two you, you'll see number two uh, a lot on uh, like dynamite and different stuff like that people that's hauling dynamite and whatnot and just uh hand did uh, some tnt on it you can also do dynamite how you want to do it so there you go guys Two easy little props. Uh, like I said, I built these probably, uh, I built them several years ago. I still have a bunch of them in storage that uh, I never know what I'm gonna do with it. And, and I just uh, I just like building stuff like this. Um, I've always enjoyed building different things. And uh, it's a lot of fun to be creative and try to figure out how, how you make something. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Just, just try it. You know, uh, make you a couple of these boxes and uh, set them. Up. I have a mud room that it's old. I'm from West Virginia originally, so coal mines is kind of our thing up there. And uh, of course, you got to blast the rock out of the out of the coal and the coal out of the hole and all that good stuff. So this just kind of kind of uh, hits home with me and I have a room and well it's, it's my, actually my mud room that I have you know like some uh, early 1900s 1800s uh, miners caps and stuff like that actually I'll bring one out and show you that way you can see what I got and actually one uh one of them's from Pennsylvania and one of them's from uh, West Virginia so but uh but don't be afraid to try this guys J just use your imagination 
you don't have to have specialized tools for this you can use this this is all pine uh you don't even have to have the metal you can use a stick it's just a prop so you know just cut it down with the whittle it down with the, a knife or something like that so let me get this hat and show you okay what i have here guys is an old miner's hat and what this is this is an old grease lamp and they would stick grease down in there and it'd light it, but guys i'm telling you the, the, these lights on these things wasn't that bright so these guys was working practically in the dark or very close to whatever they're trying to see uh, the conditions back in the day was pretty poor if you know anything about the coal mine history or the industry it was a rough and tough uh, ordeal my dad was in the coal mines he worked in the coal mines before he went into the uh went into the navy actually he was my, my dad was in the army for two years and my dad came out two years and went back into the navy for 20. so my dad uh worked in the coal mines before he went into the army in world war ii he fought in world war ii for 18 months uh came out we rested for two years and went back and served our country in the united states navy for 20 more years so my, my whole family's military oriented and stuff like that my wife's a combat veteran as well and uh so this hat here is actually from pencil this is a pennsylvania miner's hat i can't find my my west virginia one like i said this was a grease lamp they wore it on top of their head so you can see these guys are really moving around there's not much there's not much holding that sucker still and they only had a little light now there is pictures online of, of these these hats and uh, these lamps that you can see lit it's real very low visibility back in the day i don't see how these guys did it anyway <clears throat> there that is i just wanted to share that with you you know the dynamite blasting uh ordeal was is an older older thing as well that they did back in the day not so much to now it's all real high tech stuff now of course you got hard hats and stuff like that and uh so i just wanted to share this with you a, a little build that you can easily do or you can make some kind of a display at a school or whatever this this might be a good little project for your kids to do in school or something like that but anyway enough rambling on I uh, just want to show you this, guys, and uh, I want to give a shout out to a couple of friends of mine on, on YouTube. Uh, one guy's name is uh, Weird. He, he runs the Weird Kid Show. Uh, you guys need to go check him out. Th th this guy, he makes all kind of stuff from scrap and stuff like that. Uh, he's got some really nice builds over there. Not only that, man, he, he's a veteran. He's a Navy veteran, it's the Weird Kid Show. Uh, you guys need to go over and check out his channel. He does a daily vlog about life in general, uh, about uh, monsters, horror stuff. This guy knows his stuff when it comes to horror books, movies, and stuff like that. He's top notch on that. Me, I barely know who Dracula and Frankenstein is. Uh, but these guys, if you need any questions answered or, or what movies this is or what book that is or comics or anything like that, that, that he's, he's, he's the main guy to go to in my, in my opinion. And not only that, he also builds, um, creepy Halloween stuff, uh, just like me. Uh, his might be a little bit better than mine. Uh, also another guy I want to mention is, uh, Keith that, uh, cobwebs and candlesticks this guy th this guy is a ball of energy he has all kind of stuff that he's building and going to continue to build throughout the year uh, he does a daily blog as well on different stuff he builds and he, you know just his little collection of uh, books and stuff like that another very knowledgeable guy on uh on stuff like that so 
You guys need to go over and check out their skills on the stuff that they build. Very skillful guys like that. Um, but Halloween is a breed of their own. There, there's a there's a couple other guys. Uh, another guy I know. His name is Tony from New York. This dude is freaking top notch when it comes to his builds. He has his own haunted attraction, and this guy. Uh, doesn't hold back. He goes huge and uh, If I had the space, I, I'd want to be just like him uh, He's got a very good imagination uh, Anyway guys, I will put the links to these guys' channel Down in the description so you can guys go over and show them some love All right guys There you go. We appreciate you watching. Please don't forget to like share and subscribe and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching